Frank Joseph Poloni, Jr. Born October 30, 1951, is the U.S. Representative for New Jersey's 6th Congressional District, serving since 1988. The district, numbered as the 3rd District from 1988 to 1993, is located in the north-central part of the state and includes New Brunswick, Edison, Piscataway and Asbury Park. He is a member of the Democratic Party. In the new Democratic majority in the House, Poloni will become chairman of the powerful House Energy and Commerce Committee. <laughs> early life, education, and early political career Poloni is a graduate of Middlebury College, the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy at Tufts University, and Rutgers School of Law Camden. Prior to being elected to the House, Poloni was a member of the Long Branch City Council from 1982 to 1988. He was a member of the New Jersey Senate, the upper house of the New Jersey Legislature, from the 11th District, from 1984 to 1988. In 1983, he defeated incumbent Republican State Senator Brian T. Kennedy 50% to 49%. In 1987, he won re election with 60% of the vote, defeating Councilwoman Jerry C. Popkin of Neptune City. <laughs> U.S. House of Representatives Topic: Elections. 1988 to 1990. In March 1988, 23-year incumbent U.S. Congressman James Howard D. Spring Lake Heights of New Jersey's third congressional district died in office. In November, Poloni defeated Republican State Representative Joe Azalina 52% to 47%, and Libertarian Laura Stewart. In 1990, he won re-election with 49% of the vote, against a Republican, an independent, libertarian Bill Stewart, and a populist. 1992–2008 After redistricting, Poloni's district was renumbered as the 6th district. In the Democratic primary of 1992, he defeated State Representative Robert Smith 55%–37%. In the general election, he defeated Republican State Senator Joe Kirillis 52% to 45% and nine other candidates. Since then, he has won re-election with at least 60% in all but two elections 1998 and 2010. In 1998, he defeated Republican teacher Mike Ferguson 57% to 40%. 2010 Poloni was challenged by Republican nominee Anna C. Little. Little is a former Monmouth County freeholder and served as mayor of Highlands, New Jersey in addition to working full-time as an attorney specializing in immigration law. On November 3, 2010, Poloni defeated Little by over 16,000 votes, 55% to 43% in what analysts considered a terrible year for Democrats. However, for the first time in his career, Poloni failed to carry his home county of Monmouth. Topic: Tenure. Poloni is a Progressive Caucus member. He serves as vice chairman of the Native American Caucus, where he has worked on a bipartisan basis to protect the inherent sovereignty of tribal governments and promote the needs of Indian Country. As a senior member of the House Resources Committee, the committee with jurisdiction over all matters regarding the relations of the United States with American Indians and Alaska Natives. He has been a defender of the sovereign status of Indian tribal governments as independent from the United States. He also serves as a co-chairman of the Congressional Caucus on Armenian Issues along with Congressman Ed Royce previously Joe Nallenberg and Mark Kirk and was instrumental in garnering the support of 127 members of the U.S. House of Representatives for the Armenian Caucus. In 2002, he was awarded the Makitar Ghosh Medal by the President of Armenia. In 2002, he was awarded India's third highest civilian award, the Padma Bhushan, for his contributions as member of the India Caucus in the Congress. He was one of the 31 who voted in the House to not count the electoral votes from Ohio in the 2004 United States presidential election. Poloni received an A on the Drum Major Institute's 2005 Congressional Scorecard on Middle Class Issues, while the National Taxpayers Union has 
consistently given Polony an F ranking on votes that affect taxes, spending, and debt. Polony has questioned the Federal Emergency Management Agency (FEMA) on its update of flood plain maps in Monmouth County, specifically in the Bayshore area. Polony has introduced a bill to modify the Magnuson-Stevens Fishery Conservation and Management Act, the U.S.'s most important set of fisheries regulations, on October 3, 2008. Rep. Polony voted in favor of the Troubled Asset Relief Program believing that the enumerated powers grant Congress the authority to "...purchase assets and equity from financial institutions in order to strengthen its financial sector." In 2014, Polony defeated fellow Rep. Anna Ashu 100–90 in a secret ballot vote to becoming the ranking member of the Committee on Energy and Commerce. Polony had been the third-ranking Democrat, and was in line to becoming ranking member after the 2014 midterm elections due to the retirements of John Dingell and Henry Waxman. Polony was backed by minority whip Steny Hoyer and the Congressional Black Caucus, the latter which, "...made a repeated point to stress the importance of Polony's seniority. Black lawmakers have a deep appreciation for seniority, as it was historically the quickest way African American members earned gavels." House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi had aggressively campaigned on Eshoo's behalf, while the steering committee which was packed with Pelosi allies had recommended Eshoo for the ranking slot by 30–19 votes, after U.S. Rep. Chris Smith stated he does, "...not construe homosexual rights as human rights." Polony issued a statement supporting homosexual rights. The statement read, in part, representatives in Congress must be promoting the expansion of human rights, not fighting to limit its definition to people that they deem to be appropriate. Legislation Polony opposed the Gabriella Miller Kids First Research Act H.R. 2019, 113th Congress, which passed in both the House and the Senate. The bill would end taxpayer contributions to the Presidential Election Campaign Fund and divert the money in that fund to pay for research into pediatric cancer through the National Institutes of Health. The total funding for research would come to $126 million over 10 years. As of 2014, the national conventions got about 23% of their funding from the Presidential Election Campaign Fund. Polony said the bill was a disingenuous and empty attempt by the Republicans to divert attention from the fact that they have voted to cut research time and time again." Democratic opponents blamed Republicans for $1.5 billion cuts to the National Institutes of Health and said this money would not make it up. Supporters of the bill argued back that the use of this money for pediatric cancer research was better than using it for political campaigns, so the bill should be supported for that reason. Polony was one of 58 members of Congress that opposed tabling a motion offering articles of impeachment against Donald Trump on December 6, 2017. <laughs> Committee assignments Committee on Energy and Commerce Ranking member. Subcommittee on Communications and Technology Subcommittee on Environment and Economy Subcommittee on Health former ranking member Topic Caucus memberships Congressional Boating Caucus Congressional Coastal Caucus co-chair Congressional Progressive Caucus Congressional Steel Caucus United States Congressional International Conservation Caucus Congressional Arts Caucus Armenian Caucus co-chair House Baltic Caucus Congressional Next Gen 911 Caucus Party Leadership Communications Chair of the Democratic Policy Committee Topic Other Political Offices In 2002, Polony turned down an offer to replace embattled Senator Bob Torricelli as the Democratic nominee for U.S. Senate by Democratic Party leaders. The slot eventually went to Senator Frank Lautenberg who ended up winning the general election. In 2004–2005, Polony considered a gubernatorial bid against embattled and unpopular Governor Jim McGreevy but ended up supporting eventual party nominee winner, then-Senator John Corzine. 
Early in 2005, Polony announced his intentions to seek the United States Senate position held at the time by John Corzine. Corzine won the Democratic nomination for Governor of New Jersey in June 2005, and Polony was the first New Jersey politician to officially seek Corzine's Senate seat. Polony launched, Polony for New Jersey, to inform New Jersey citizens of his work in the House and his desire to be New Jersey's next senator. In January 2006, Polony announced his endorsement of Bob Menendez for Senate in the November 2006 election, ending his bid for the seat. Polony was an early and strong endorser of Senator Hillary Clinton in the 2008 Democratic Party primaries. Polony traveled to New Hampshire to campaign for Clinton. Clinton eventually lost the primary to Senator Barack Obama who went on to become president. Polony also endorsed Frank Lautenberg over Congressman Rob Andrews. Topic: 2013 US Senate election. On January 3, 2013, it was revealed that Polony was considering another bid for the Senate should Senator Frank Lautenberg elect not to pursue another term in office in 2014. On June 9, 2013, Polony said he was officially in the race to fill Lautenberg's Senate seat, due to the senator's death, and could win the Democratic primary against Newark Mayor Cory Booker by running on his progressive congressional record. The family of the late Senator Frank Lautenberg endorsed Polony on July 8, 2013. The State Council of Sheet Metal Workers also endorsed Polony. In the August 13, 2013 primary election, Polony lost to Newark Mayor Cory Booker. Booker then won the general election. 2014, Personal life Polony lives with his wife Sarah Hospidor Polony and their three children who reside with them in Washington, D.C. He married Hospidor Polony in August 1992.